Yeah, what's up YouTube? What up friends and fam? What's going on? If you haven't already, subscribe. Subscribe right now. You're, you're gonna wanna watch this journey. Let's go! All right, got something special for y'all today. Got something special. Um, this video is how to stay in shape if you work a lot of hours, if you work a 70 hour work week type deal, if you work construction, if you work at an office, anything where you're working a lot and you're, you're thinking that you can't be as fit as you were in high school or as fit as you want to be, you know what I mean? If you want to be as fit as an athlete, you can be as fit as an athlete and still work a bunch of hours, you know what I mean? And if you're working way too much, you might want to consider doing something else where you can make the same amount of money, if not more, and work less, you know? Because that's, that's the goal here. That's the goal of this channel is to improve on our lives financially, physically, mentally, spiritually, all of this, the diet, you know what I mean? The, the well-being of us, you know what I mean? The whole picture, that, that's the whole point of this channel, man, is... Uh, show y'all what I'm doing to create this and then you can you know what I mean go back to the videos and kind of watch what I've done and implement what you like from my videos what you like from my lifestyle and implement it in your own life you know what I mean that, that's what it's all about it's about grinding staying positive and just and just doing the work man fall in love with the process fall in love with the freaking process man um so that's what we're doing today. We're falling in love with the process. We're getting it, staying active, and let's go. All right, so I'm, the big news is that I'm changing up my routine. My morning routine is going to be a little bit earlier because I'm going to implement doing 45 minutes of workout, 45 minutes of cardio in the morning, um, almost right after I work out. I mean, right after I wake up, have my water, have my coffee. There's actually a little gym here where I stay, so I'm going to go do my walking on the treadmill for 45 minutes, and then from there I'm going to come back, maybe have a small breakfast, like a shot of steel cut oatmeal or something like that, and then I'm going to go to the actual gym, get my workout with the weights, which I've been feeling it, man. Like, I've been feeling like, Ugh! you get that feeling once... If, if you lifted weights a lot, you know that feeling that I'm talking about once you get back into it or what, if you're lifting right now, that feeling when you get that you get that pump and it's like, oh, that's everything, man. That's fucking everything. It, it, like it, it makes you feel like human again. It makes you feel good in your own skin. And those are the moments I freaking love for. I mean, I freaking live for, man. Like, you know, like those moments where it's like, yeah, baby. Yeah. Mm. You feel good about yourself, man, and um, so I'm real happy that I reminded myself, I, I was doing some research today or whatever, um, and then I got reminded that I definitely need the cardio first thing in the morning, like that's that's like a bottom line thing, like the Dwayne Johnson does that, I'm pretty much mirroring what Dwayne Johnson does every morning, it's the cardio and then the weight workout. His motto is that he gets two workouts before everybody else even gets up out of bed, which that's what I want to be like too, man. Because it makes me feel way better, man. I, you know what I mean? You get a little chip on your shoulder. You get a little swagger going because you feel fucking good. You're big. You, you know what I mean? You're eating right, which we'll go over my diet right now too because I'm about to go shopping and I'll show you the list. So you're going to want to screenshot this. Alright, go ahead and screenshot that. It's probably backwards, I think. Let me flip my camera. Can you tell me if this is backwards? I don't know if that's backwards or not for y'all. But that's just to give you an idea of what I'm getting right now. Um, I did go see an acupuncturist here in town, um, in Charlotte. And she was amazing, man. She was amazing. I was kind of telling her, like, how I feel. I have been feeling, like, a little depressed and anxious, um, to keep it real with y'all. Um, so she said, like, I need to... She gave me a whole list of, like, stuff that I need to eat. She was pretty much saying, like, I need to eat more, like... More like the TB12 method, if you know that. Like, he doesn't really eat too much meat at all. And, um... Just kind of turning to that instead of eating so much meat and peanut butter and jellies even though i have the peanut butter and jellies on the list because that's kind of like my go-to thing because like you can take it to go uh it satisfies my hunger but um 
I guess all in all, it's not really good for my mental health. So I think everything's a process. You got to work on what you can do. You know what I mean? I'm going to implement what I can do about the healthy foods and whatnot. And then, you know what I mean? Slowly get get it going. Because I'm already starting to feel better, man. Like, I'm, since I've been working out in the morning, it's like boom, 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 boom. You just climb that ladder. Little steps, little steps. Don't take giant leaps because chances are you'll fall and then you'll have to start right back at the bottom again. That's what I did, man. I took giant leaps and then I fell off. Um, and that's what happens when you take giant leaps, man. Most of the time, that type of philosophy or that type of life is just gonna you're gonna fall man and then you're gonna have to start right from the bottom then eventually you'll learn that you got to take these little little steps instead of taking these massive steps which oftentimes just lead to you being back at the bottom like i just said um so think of it like this man i'll draw a little picture all right think of it like this man this is what i've done in the past is i've climbed this ladder which is it's hard to climb, as you can see, because you have to get up there, then you have to get up there, then you have to jump up here, and then eventually you're just gonna fall back down and have to do that all over again until you learn this method of climbing that ladder that's attainable. And you grow every day. All these steps are, they're wins, man, they're wins. You gotta look at these steps as wins. Every time you wake up in the morning, you get that workout, it's a win. Every time you drink a gallon of water a day, that's a win, you know what I mean? And you just gotta keep going on those motherfucking wins, bro. You're gonna feel better, man. I, I promise you. I promise. Also, I've been taking this stuff to improve my gut health. I don't know if it's the best um, option for fiber, but it's just something to look into, man. If you want to supplement with the fiber intake, just increase your fiber and your gut. Um, I'm a firm believer that your gut is everything. Your gut is kind of how you feel. It's kind of how you think. Um, I've mentioned this before, but for my new subscribers, definitely grab this stuff, the Elite Instant Coffee. Um, right now, I'm living out of a hotel without any kitchen or anything like that. It really sucks, to be honest, but then again, I'm grateful I have a place over my head. I'm grateful I have a comfortable-ass bed. I'm grateful for a lot of things, the area I'm in, the mentality. Um, I actually just posted an ad into Charlotte Craigslist for a videographer and an Instagram or a social media expert because... I'm gonna hire somebody to help me make these videos, man, because I've been getting a lot of requests on workout videos. Um, so some of my followers have messaged me on Instagram, like, hey, like, do like a workout video. So what it comes down to is just, I'm at the point where I need to hire somebody that knows how to do that stuff, that has the right camera, and then I'm just gonna pay them to um, record my stuff, so. If you happen to be in the Charlotte area and you're an Instagram professional or you're learning it and you want to grow with me, join my team, let me know. Um, ideally, I want to work with somebody who sees my vision behind my YouTube channels and then, or my YouTube channel. And then once we start selling merch, that's when, you know what I mean, everybody gets a percentage. Maybe the videographer, editor gets 25% or 30% or even 50%. Um, if it's just me and them, you know what I mean? And then as the team grows, maybe everybody gets a certain chunk. If it's three people that are working and everybody's putting their work in and putting their life into this and it's 33%, 33%, 33%, or 30%, 30%, 30%, then 10% goes back into the business, you know what I mean? I'm really trying to look at this YouTube shit as a business, bro. Cause that's what it is. I, I see these YouTubers, man, it's like, fuck. <laughs> it's like, fuck, bro. Like. I can do this, you can do this, we just got to put the work into it, so anybody that wants to join my team, sincerely message me on Snapchat, Instagram, let's fucking get this going, man, because there's just too much money in today's world online that we can get a piece of it, man, we can make 50 grand a year easily doing these videos, man, I'm telling you, easily doing these videos, making like a vlog, um... I'd rather make 50 grand doing YouTube than 50 grand driving somebody's truck, bro. Let's go. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I feel and probably how you feel too. Like, you, wouldn't you rather do 50 grand teaching somebody, helping the universe, getting nasty comments, you know, getting all the haterade and then getting all the winning, you know? Like, I don't know, man. It could be a good time. So, anybody in the Charlotte area that wants to start a 
start to do this, let's start doing this now, DM me, we'll figure out a pricing thing. Like I said, ideally it's like a percentage thing, but if you need the money up front, then we can work it with that too. So let's go. It's that hotel life, man. You got the optic white, high impact white, that shit is bomb. I got a little CBD, which I just watched a video about a truck driver that failed the drug test because he was taking that shit. I got a little fish oil. I try to keep this clean as possible. You know, the hotel life, the sponge, the eye drops. I tried some of this stuff. Yeah, I think it worked pretty good for blood flow and gave me a little energy at the gym. Got the Himalayan pink. Got the Mitchum um, anti-aging. It's like another multivitamin I've been taking. It's got some fish oil in it, so I've been laying off of that fish oil because I've been taking this fish oil. This stuff is pretty bomb, man. Um, I just got some yesterday. It's kind of like Alpha Brand, if you've ever heard of that, from the brand kind of called On It. But Applied Nutrition, they have a lot of good supplements to take. This is a fat burner slash like pre workout. I kind of stopped taking that because I'm trying to take pre workout without caffeine. That's some of that full juice. Got the lotion, and then this pre workout is my shit. If you haven't gotten this already, go ahead and order some on Amazon. That's where I keep my change. This cologne's pretty bomb. I Am King by Diddy. Any, any cologne you find by P. Diddy, it's fucking phenomenal. And of course, the Tide Pods. And then this shit makes your clothes smell bomb. This is like $10, $10 a bottle, but I think it's worth it. Then this I found at Walmart for a dollar. I never, Ajax, same thing. And it works pretty good. And then I got my travel pack. That thing is essential. I got that at Goodwill. I got my cutting board. All right, well, I guess I just needed to give you that little tour. And make sure you subscribe to the video. We're going to keep getting it. After I go grocery shopping, make, maybe I'll make another post on Instagram or something. So check me out there. Or check me out on Snapchat. Let's go. Stay up, everybody. I know this coronavirus shit is a bunch of bullshit. And I, if you're like me, man, you feel the energy of the universe. And, man, you can feel the like a lot of people are down right now, man. So it's important to stay up. Do what you got to do to stay up. Like, stay positive. Don't do no dumb shit to stay up. But stay fucking positive, man. Like, we all need you. I need you. You need me to stay positive. I need you to stay positive. We need some po positive comments in down below. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. All right. Love y'all. Please uh, subscribe. Later.